To get Skype installed on your computer, you first need to start up your Internet Explorer. Just click on the Start button and click on your Internet Explorer. It's located here at the top. And then we type in www.skype.com. By the way, the www stands for World Wide Web. Sometimes you see it being referred to as that. So on the Skype page here, we have an option here on the right to download Skype. So we do that, we click on download Skype. Now it then comes up with an option here to run or save this file. I usually choose to save that. And then it says to save it in a folder called download. So let's do that. So it's now downloading Skype. Now, once Skype is downloaded, we have the option here to run. So let's do that. We need some permission to continue. That's fine. So we choose English. We, we may need to review the license agreement and then click the yes. Now, that's here to install a free toolbar. Uh, this can be quite common in applications when you're installing them. It says, oh, you'll get some free toolbar. Advisable to switch off that. Don't install toolbars in your internet because it just makes it's it's like clutter. Um, you'll have buttons all over the place. So I normally don't choose to use toolbars. Now Google toolbar toolbar is actually one of the better ones, but it's it's still it's 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 good to just not to get into the habit of, of going for all this free stuff. So we're just going to not go for the free toolbar. So now it will go and download further software from Skype and this is all free there's no charge required here you get the full thing fully functional for if it's only if it's only Skype people you want to call people using Skype that the whole thing is free so it's quite a good service so we just need to wait here for this green bar to, to scroll across to the end and this is very typical as well when software is installing that you get a bar and the status is shown here so if it if it stops, usually problem uh, with the install. So sometimes there's an, there's, there's an option to, to reinstall or to restart. So we'll just wait here for this to start or stop. Skype can also be used not just for making calls, but you can also share photos and transfer pictures to other people that you might know within the Skype network. So it's now telling us here that Skype is installing and it could take a few minutes. And during the install it's also showing us some new features and different ways to use Skype. So it's, it's telling us here that there's a pay-as-you-go calls to phones and mobiles. So this is the option I mentioned earlier where you can actually call mobile phones or normal landlines. And our rates are actually quite quite reasonable. Mentions here the new free video calls. This is a fantastic new feature because it allows us to see the person on the far side. Okay, we're just waiting here for it to finish. Now let's just check and see if Skype is available. So we could close down the internet browser here. And we have a new icon here on our desktop, launch Skype. So let's go for that. Now we, we need to sign up for a Skype account so that that's so people can identify us. So we need to fill in our details here. So I'm going to set it up for the, this particular user. Now, very much like email, you also must pick a, what's known as a Skype name. So I'm going to try and see if the, the the email that we the name we pick for email is also available here for Skype. We need a password. And we also we can choose this the same license agreement again. 
So it asks us to fill in our email address here. So as with everything really you sign up for, you're going to need to have your email address. One thing with these forms as well, is that if there's a little asterisk, there's a little red asterisk here, that means that this form is compulsory. We must fill it in. It actually mentions that here at the bottom. So you don't have to fill in your region here, um, but the email address is compulsory. So we'll just get it complete here. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to set the the country. I'm not going to fill in the city. It asks us here to sign me in when Skype starts. So that means when you start your computer up, people will know your computer is switched on and they can call you via Skype. So choose the sign in option here now. Okay, so we're now up and running. Now, there's a what's known as a wizard here, so we can we can check if the sound works. We can do find friends. Are oh, we just going to get started now? I just go for the let's get started now. So we're up and running. Now, you need to build up your phone book within Skype. So at the moment, there's 11 million people online. So we need to check, find out, uh, or is there anybody we know? So what we need to do is, we need to either, any contact we have, drop them an email or, or ask them, what what is your Skype name? So, just gonna do a search here. This, this person here knows somebody with its, that particular Skype name. So we just do a search directory. So we find them here, that's me. So we add contact. And we can introduce ourselves here, hello. Okay, very much like it was with the Facebook, the person needs to uh, accept your invitation. So if you get a s invitation within Skype from somebody you don't know, and it, it sounds like a name that you definitely, it's not somebody you would have come across, you don't have to accept them. You don't want people on your, your contact list that, um, you know, that, that are no, no connection to you at all. So we now need to wait for that person to uh, um, acknowledge and then we can start to make calls. Once they accept you as a Skype contact, they will be available now under your contacts list. So this person here, it's, their icon is green, that means they're online. If they're offline, that, that little green button turns grey. So to make a call to them, it's just a matter now of clicking on the call button here, and that will initiate a Skype call. We're also shown here the local time when that person is based, so that can be important for international calls. As I mentioned earlier, there is a, a, an option within Skype to allow you to contact normal phone numbers, and it's just a matter of dialing in, in the phone number here, and you can make a call with them. But you do need to purchase credit, so there's an option in the menu here, in the Skype option, to purchase credit. So you need to put in your credit card details and put some credit in your account. And then you can call normal phone lines. So that's a very quick introduction to Skype. And again, if the video call is supported, there's a video call button here. So it's a matter of just building up your contacts in Skype and you can make free calls.